Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Naveen Wood and in today's video I'm going to be going over my latest Stalvana uh, skincare haul. If you're interested in seeing what I got, what I thought of the products and all of that, stay tuned and keep on watching. So to start off with, I was gifted these products from Stalvana for my review, but all opinions are my honest opinions. Okay, to start off with, uh, they sent me the VT Sika Mild, Sika Mild Foam Cleanser. It is a big um, tube. <laughs> it comes in a large bottle, so you get quite a bit. It foamed up nicely and didn't seem to cause any irritation on my redness prone skin. Though it did leave me with that squeaky clean feeling afterwards, which I'm not the biggest fan of. I think if you have really oily skin, you might enjoy this one. For reference, I have combo skin um, with type 1 rosacea, the flushing kind of rosacea. And yes, while I have an oily T-zone, I still got a pretty squeaky clean feeling from this. If you like that sort of thing, you might enjoy this cleanser. I think this would work better if you have really oily skin. From what I've read or what looked into, like watching other people's reviews and that sort of thing, when I was looking into this product, um, was people who had like really oily skin had the better luck with this, um, as well as acne prone skin. So if you fall into those categories, you might want to give this one a shot. You get quite a bit for the price. So yeah. Okay. This next one is, I'm already going to say is my favorite of the bunch, like, which I doesn't surprise me because I actually love their other toner. Um, but let me just, let me tell you what it is. It's the Isentree Hyaluronic Acid Toner. I had a feeling I would love this because, um, I've, like I've mentioned in other videos, I love their green tea toner. Um, but I've always heard good things about this. I never grabbed it because I was always using the Hada Labo, um, Hyaluronic Acid to uh, Toners, like the, the one in the gold bottle. I think it's called, um, Super? No, not Super. Premium. Yeah. But I ran out of that like a couple of months ago and I haven't ordered a new bottle of it. So I was really happy to get to, you know, try out this one. It has a viscous gel-like texture that sunk into my skin quite quickly and layered well with my other products. It has no discernible scent and didn't feel sticky or tacky at all on my skin, which was great. It leaves my skin feeling hydrated and looking plump. I apply this toner on damp skin. I pour a few drops into my palms and gently pat it onto my face. It's a very gentle toner that I think would work great for sensitive skin. All in all, this is one of my favorites from the bunch. If you were thinking of trying this out, I would definitely give it a go. It's it's really great. I know there's a plus version as well, like which is in a blue bottle, but I haven't tried that one either, but I might have to grab it once I've finished up. I only pour like two drops and I've only used like so much. I have tried it um, layering it multiple times on my face and it worked out pretty well. I didn't do seven layers. Like I said, I have combo skin. I'll do like two or three. And it was really nice. Okay, the next one is the Yuja Niacin Brightening Peeling Gel. Some by, by some by me. It's described as a gentle exfoliator that brightens skin and removes dead skin cells and impurities. PHA dissolves excess sebum and dead skin cells while cellulose granules scrub away to clear pores and leave skin soft. It also contains niacinamide and glutathione, which together reduce the appearance of pigmentation. Though, I'm not sure about that because, I mean, it's only on your skin for a short duration and you wash it off, so keep that in mind. <laughs> it's strongly citrus scented gel that smooths over skin easily. Once I started gently rubbing, I could feel the peelies smooth around. For reference, I have type 1 rosacea, so this peeling gel did leave my skin a bit red. Did feel some burning on my second use, so I'd be careful with this one if you have sensitive skin. So yeah, like I said, it has a very strong citrus scent, and it didn't burn, I didn't feel the burning on my first use, but on my second use I did, so maybe I used it too soon, my skin is. I am rosacea prone, so I'll have to try it some more and get back to you on this one, but it did leave my skin soft, though red. So next product is the Thank You Farmer Sun Project Water Sun Cream. It's in this cute little blue bottle. It's an SPF of 50 plus with a PA plus plus plus. 
I wish it was four pluses, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> it's a creamy sunscreen that doesn't seem to leave a white cast on my skin, like at all. Though it's quite moisturizing and does leave me pretty dewy and shiny. If you have oily skin, you might have better luck with their essence rather than the cream, unless you want that glow. This one worked nicely, like really nicely under my makeup. I loved wearing, wearing it underneath my more matte foundations as the dewiness kind of peeked through a bit, which gave a healthy glow to my skin. I personally didn't have any issues with any kind of pilling. In terms of scent, it has a faint mixed scent of apricots with a bit of that sunscreen smell, though it's barely discernible, that sunscreen smell. I only smelled it when I, you know, I applied quite a bit to like my face and neck on initial application. And it doesn't linger very, very long, so. For reference, um, as well, this sunscreen is not fungal acne safe. There's been some controversies going on with uh, Korean sunscreens not meeting the advertised SPF number on their products. But from what I can find, like searching for on this particular product, this did pass the test. It was like listed as SPF. Like it was, it is what they claim to be, you know, <laughs> but I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. I found the information on Reddit as well as a few other um, websites. So yeah, apparently this does, this did pass the test. It is SPF 50 plus. So that's great. <laughs> if only it was PA plus 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 plus, then it would be great. I really love the, the dewiness in this under my matte foundations. On its own, I'm like, <laughs> is really shiny. All in all, I really like this sunscreen. I mean, the con for me would be the PA++++, like I mentioned at least three times now, I think. But it, it's really nice as like a moisturizing sunscreen primer underneath uh, my foundation. So, I mean, I'm going to keep using it and use it up. Hopefully they come out with one that's PA++++. Did I say too many pluses? You know what I mean. Like, hopefully they come out with one that is four pluses, so. Okay, the next thing I had to put back in its box because th the presentation is, like, really cute. And I think would make, like, a really nice gift to someone who loves this brand or um, is in need of a product like this. But it's the Keep Cool Ocean Deep Blue Self Ritual Kit. Looks like this on the front. It comes with a rose quartz gua sha and the oil included, full size of the oil. This is the back, has a cute little heart. This is the gua sha, it's a rose quartz and it says keep cool on the front. It's really nice, it's really cute. This is actually the first uh, gua sha I've owned and the first one I ever used. <laughs> and here is the oil. Looks like I barely used it, but you, you only need like two drops. The Ocean Deep Blue Oil contains natural and organic oils like jojoba seed oil, sunflower seed oil, um, olive fruit oil, sweet almond oil, rose, rosa canina fruit oil, macadamia seed oil, moringa seed oil. And it has a sweet herbal scent that lingers for a while, but it, it's not unpleasant. I used a few drops of this oil mixed in with my moisturizer at night. It left my skin glowing and moisturized, though I did get a bit of flushing on my cheeks. So I then mixed a few drops of this oil into my hand cream and I loved it on my dry hands and cuticles. This oil worked really well for my hair too at the ends, which I mixed in with like a le my living proof leave-in conditioner. So yeah, while mixing it with mixing a few drops with my moisturizer caused, you know, some flushing. Um, I actually prefer using a few drops of this into my hand lotion and into my leave-in conditioner. I use a, the Living Proof leave a repair, restore, leave-in conditioning treatment. And so I, I like to one or two drops into it and add it to my ends and mid to ends and stuff. And it worked out really well. So it's the multi-purpose oil. This would be a great gift for someone. It's, it's really nice. The oil, I love that it's multi-purpose and works out well. And even despite me having like my rosation it causing you know, redness, I can still use it on my mixed in with like body lotion, hand lotion, my hair serums or, you know, leave-in conditioners and it works out well. And like I said, the scent isn't, the scent is quite nice. It's kind of like a 
fresh herbal scent. And yeah, this bottle's gonna last me a long time, especially when I only use like one or two drops. So yeah. So last but not least, I put this all these back in there in the box because this may would make an adorable gift for yourself or for someone else. Um, but it's the Ionic with Salvana uh, mini serum set. It's so cute. Um, let me. It says uh, "Love from Ionic and Salvana" on the front, and I'll open it now. Hopefully, I won't cause the things to fall out. <laughs> This is what it looks like on the inside. It comes with this little um, paper on the front that says, um, thank you for my unique and Stalvana. Look how cute these are. How cute are these? If you've ever been curious or wanted to try any of the Ionic serums or all of them, I would definitely recommend this set. Look how cute these little bottles are. Um, I have a review on the tea tree and the Nani Oil one, if you want to see my thoughts on those. But, like, all their serums are pretty awesome. Um, the one I've been trying recently with the mini is the Black Snail Restore Serum. Which I am definitely going to be grabbing a full size of this one once I finish up this mini. It's it's really soothing. But I'm going to save this. I'm going to save the review for when I actually get the full size and you know, try it out for a while longer because these minis are just, they're so cute. I don't want to use the, I want to save them for travel because they're the perfect size to take traveling with you. Oh, let me get a full size to show you the size difference. Okay, so this is baby, the tea tree relief serum, and this is the mama size. Look how cute. So like I said, if you've always wanted to try the Ionic Serums, this is the perfect set to grab. Because then you could try all the popular ones. And see which one you, you don't want to grab in a full size. Or if you love the Ionic Serums, like I do, you can take this to travel, you know? it's They're the perfect size to take with you for a travel skincare routine. And, you, you know, I'd probably take like the tea tree. I like using the Noni one. I don't know if I'm pointing to the right. I like using the Noni one, this one, um, as an under eye primer right before I put on concealer. It works really well to help moisturize and just, I just use it as like an eye serum kind of thing right before I put on concealer. I use it all over the face as well, but lately I just love it under the eyes personally and it's worked out great. So I'd probably take this one and maybe the snail one and the tea tree. <laughs> I think those are my three favorites currently so yeah would we'll definitely grab this this is like one of the things from my haul that I would definitely repurchase I'm not sure for how long it's going to be on the website probably not for very long hopefully that it stays for a while because I'd love, I'd love to you know give these out as a gift they're really cute so those were the products that were sent to me this month for me to try out and review and you know just use and let you guys know what I think um if I were to repurchase any of these things it would probably be the Ionic and Stalvana set because it's adorable the Isen Tree um, Hyaluronic Acid Toner and the Thank You Farmer sunscreen and yeah thank you so much for watching see you guys later bye